It's time! Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to my channel. I'm Natalie, and today we're finally getting into Stranger Things Season 4. Before we get into the rest of the intro, let's have a word from our sponsor, Casetify. Casetify is the world's most popular tech accessory <laughs> brand, known for their protective cases and global collaborations. I'm sorry, can you excuse me for just a second? Natalia, what are you doing? I'm in the middle of reading a sponsorship right now. Oh, there you are! I've been trying to find you to show you how cool these phone cases are. Yeah, yeah, I know I'm talking about them right now. Okay, well, did you see this yet, though? Ready? And it's totally fine. I've been dropping it all day. You don't say. Yeah, that's their new bounce case. They sent it to us and it can withstand drops from up to 21.3 feet. And look how cute this charm is. I just love it. Wow, you seem to be really passionate about it. Uh-huh, yeah. Anyway, I'll catch you later after work. Hey, since you're here and you know so much about Casetify, how about you do your what? job and actually Can't film you. the Listening to a video. NPR podcast. Wait, Very important. D Natalia. D Bye. <laughs> Why am I not surprised? Casetify designs cases with ultimate protection in mind that are still sleek and stylish. With over 2,000 designs available, curated by a network of artists, they have a phone case that's perfect for everyone. Plus, their new bounce case is designed with expanded corners, turning any heart-stopping drop into a simple bounce. What I love most, though, is the plethora of sustainable options that Casetify offers. 51,000 of their cases are recycled, and they even have cases made from plant materials. Plus, they have adorable accessories like phone straps and charms that are great for when you're on the go. Treat yourself to a new case or pick up the perfect holiday gift. Just click the link in my description or go to casetify.com slash nataliegold for up to 15% off of your order. Thank you so much to Casetify for sponsoring this video and thank you guys as always for listening to the sponsor. Now let's get back into the intro. Welcome back to my channel, everyone. Thank you so much for being here, especially you. Yes, you, hello, you, hi, yeah, you, uh-huh, you. Thank you to all of my crispy little golden nuggets who stick around, who subscribe, and who watch these movies and shows with me on a regular basis. Y'all are the backbone of this community, and I love reading your fun facts in the comments down below on these shows and on these movies. And welcome if you're new. Hey, hi, how are you? If you like these kinds of videos and you enjoy them and you keep watching them over and over again, but you're not subscribed, what are you doing? It's free, and it's a button. It's right there below me right now. It's red, you can click it. I like pushing buttons, don't you? Thanks, anyway, let's get into the video. I'm really excited to be watching season four of Stranger Things. Man, it has been so long since this season came out. Actually, how long, in fact, has it been? I feel like it's been a year, but that that's not right. Hold on. When did Stranger Things season four release? May 27th, 2022. It's definitely not been a year. I'm way off base there. Time flies in Los Angeles. We don't have seasons, okay? I have no idea how to measure the time here. But it has been a while. I have been really excited to finally get to this season. I've heard good things. I was putting off watching this show for a really long time um, because I had remembered season one and how much it scared me. And honestly, if season four hadn't gotten the rave reviews that it had, I probably wouldn't have ever revisited this series. But when season four blew up and it was trending and everybody was saying how good it was and that it was really worth checking out the show, it really made me think that, okay, it's worth it to revisit this show. And it won a poll on my Patreon page and that was that. And I'm really glad that I did decide to revisit this show because it has been a really fun and nostalgic ride. I mean, I didn't grow up in the 80s, but something about this show does feel really comforting and nostalgic in the way that only a show placed in the 80s can feel. <laughs> It's weird because I'm a 90s kid, but something about it just feels really comforting. I think because I like older music in general, so I do really enjoy the music in this show and the color schemes and the art design. I think a lot of it is really fun and wholesome, despite all of the gruesome and spooky things that do happen in the story. I will say that there are some things I kind of know about this series, not much to be honest. I basically just know that there's a character 
who dies. A secondary character, really. I know this because I've, I've worked with this actress before, and so I followed her on social media well before I knew that she was in Stranger Things. And then when Stranger Things season four released, her Instagram and TikTok was filled with references to the moments where she dies in this show. So I am familiar with a character dying. It's not one of the main characters, so I don't know if there's um, gonna be any tragic events with any of the main characters in this show. That I am blissfully unaware of, and I really hope that that doesn't happen. But after last season, who knows? And I don't really know much else about the season, to be fair. The only thing I think I know is not even really a spoiler. It's just uh, a song, Running Up That Hill. I've heard a lot on TikTok and on the radio since this season came out. And I think it's from, well, not from season four, but like from well before this show was made, but just used in this season. So I'm expecting to hear that song. That's kind of all I really know about this season, to be honest. So nothing really that spoiler worthy or, or that really ruins the experience at all. There's plenty that I don't know. So I am excited. I'm really curious to see what the antagonist manifests itself as because we did get glimpses of weird things going on in Russia at the end of season three. I mean, they're feeding Demogorgons over there. It's kind of crazy. So there's definitely something going on in Russia, and I think this antagonistic force that we've been battling that overtook Billy's body in the last season, I think it's going to be even more powerful in this season, and I, I'm really curious to see how it's manifested and how our crew defeats it yet again. We also are gonna have the kids more split up. Will and Elle are gonna be at a new school. I don't know if it's gonna be a big city school or another small town or what. I don't know how far away they are from Hawkins. I hope they're not too far. I hope that we do get to see the kids all reunite and come together because it does make me sad knowing that they'll, they'll be split up a little bit. I'm also really curious if we're gonna get clarity on who the American is that was being locked up in that cell in Russia. If I had to guess, the guess I'm gonna make is that it's Papa. I, that, I don't know if that's really right. I, that might be like a dumb guess, to be honest. But the reason I say that is because in season two, we encountered that man that Elle almost <laughs> killed with her sister and then decided to mercifully spare him. He said he knew Papa was alive and that he could help Elle find him. Then we never addressed Papa again in season three. We just never, we never addressed him again. So I know that we have to see Papa again. I'm not sure if we're gonna see him in this season, but we have to see him again, whether it's in this season or whether it's in season five, which evidently is the last season they're gonna do. We have to see him again. So I think this would be a good season to see him again, just because it's given the audience enough time to kind of forget about that moment a little bit. Not for me, because I've been binge watching the show back to back to back, but for most people who are watching each season as it comes out, it's given them enough time to kind of forget about that moment, but still have it in the back of their brain. And I think it would be interesting if the American being held up over there near that other portal to the upside down is Papa. It could also be a different American. I don't really know. I don't know who it would be if it was another American, but I am really curious who it is. I'm still not over Hop being gone. I'm sure that I will still get emotional or teary-eyed about that. And mark my words, I said it before and I'll say it again. If we introduce one more funny guy, I am just expecting them to die. Um, I'm just not gonna get attached. So that's pretty much all I have for this intro. That's pretty much all I'm looking forward to in this season. I do have kind of high hopes for it because I've heard that it's great, uh, but I don't really know why. I think it'll be fun. I think it might be a little spookier, if I'm not mistaken. I don't really know. Should be a fun ride. But that's all I really have for this intro, guys. I'm just excited to see what this season actually has in store and why people are raving about it so much. I'm so excited that we finally reached this point and thank y'all so much for being on this journey with me. I really do appreciate it. And with all that being said, let's hop into the show. So grab a drink, grab a snack, and let's get into Stranger Things. Crossword puzzle. Oh, you time yourself? What if you don't perform fast enough? You're disappointed? That's kind of crazy. 
Why do we gotta make this stressful? Why can't we just have fun with a crossword puzzle? Bonsai tree, okay. Who, oh God, is this Papa? No way. He's a, it's a gray old white man, so. You are like Papa! Really? Or is it the mayor? What is it? Who is it? No way! Oh my God! Oh, it's 1979. Oh, we went back in time. Oh, okay, okay. I got too excited. Rainbow room, mm-hmm. Oh, right, there's gotta be more of them. What happened to the rest of the kids? We gotta keep all their heads shaved and keep them in creepy little nightgowns, huh? I am so curious what happened to the rest of these kids. Are you up for some more lessons? <laughs> He's gotta ask the magic eight ball. Signs point to yes, oh, okay. It's weird that they all hold hands. Like, you know, like, as, cause these are the only parental figures these parents have, it's so creepy. 11. I want you to find Dr. Ellis. Find Dr. Ellis. Is that the doctor that we passed? Holding hands with the other kid? Something's wrong. Oh no. Six and Dr. Ellis. Dead. They're dead. Uh-oh, something happened to these children. Oh no. I knew it was gonna come through the door. What? No! Oh, I thought that was gonna be the intro music. Wait, what happened? Ooh. Electricity? The sound design is already so jarring. What, where's all this blood coming from? What is happening? This is already much spookier, I will say, than the last season. Oh no, 10. Ah! Oh, 10! Oh no. Oh, he really did care for the kid. He really did. What is going on? <gasps> all the kids, all the kids, except for 11 and six, right? Or no, whatever number Kali was. I don't remember her number. Eight? I don't know. Wow, so so far he's the only one that survived. Holy <laughs> Is it 11? Did 11 do this? What have you done? It was 11. What have you done? Okay, um, two questions. That, that looks like young 11. So I wonder if they used like technology to go make her look younger again, or if they shot that scene well in advance because they knew they'd need it, or if they just found a kid that looks like her. I have a lot of questions about that. Uh... Man, so she she's what happened to all of them. I wonder how Kali lived then. Dear Mike. Oh, are they pen pals? She's becoming more of a typical teen girl, you know? She got a hot glue gun? Why is she doing crafts? I have to make something called a visual aid. Oh yeah, I had to make these little shadow box things for school too. I wonder if they still do that in school. She's got the same hairstyle as Joyce. Isn't that funny? They both have bangs. Jonathan is acting weird also. Oh, is Jonathan a stoner? <laughs> dude, you hotbox the room. You gotta get like a, a toilet paper roll and a dryer sheet, dude. His funny friend Argyle has been taking us to school. Ah, Eduardo! Yeah, I know Eduardo. I knew he was in this too. That's so fun. I don't know if your job would appreciate that you're driving. Are we, oh, we're in California? It makes sense that they're stoners then. Oh, they're so far. Love, Elle. What the hell are you doing? It's 10 after. Oh, you have 30 seconds or I'm leaving without uh, you. Okay, 30 seconds. Ha <laughs> Funny. The Hellfire, oh, the Hellfire Club is his thing? Oh my God. Michael, I know your D&D &D club is tonight. Hellfire. Oh, that's the name of it. It's a 6.30 flight, Michael. Yeah. Oh, they're going on a flight? Nine or no California. And no sweetie pie. Look at him being a dad. Ted is being a dad. When do they become reasonable human beings again? Um, after college. <laughs> Once they have to start paying their own bills and they realize how hard life is. <laughs> That's a negative, Dusty Bun. Susie! Is she gonna change his grade? Yikes, Dusty. Latin. He's not good at Latin. Jesus is watching. I will repent later. <laughs> I love her. I love her. Your love 
of life is one of labyrinthian complexity and it is seven in the morning we have to go to this stupid pep rally oh and i woke up oh why do they have to go to a pep rally oh because she is she like a cheerleader or a mask? Oh no, she's in the band, marching band. It is, and you know what else I think? Uh, I really don't care. I think you gotta you. stop pretending to be someone else when you're around her, okay? You just gotta- This is so fun! Oh my God! This is so funny! He used to coach Dustin and now he's coaching Robin. <laughs> she returned fast times, paused at 53 minutes, five seconds. Do you know who pauses fast times at 53 minutes, five seconds? <laughs> you can see where she paused it? Vicky likes boobies, definitely. That's so cute. Oh my God, that's so cute. I love Steve, man, I love him. I just wanna take him and put him in my pocket. Oh my God, Steve is a funny guy. Oh no, what if they kill Steve? I have, I have PTSD from the last season, y'all. Hey girl. Where were you yesterday? Oh, yeah, sorry, I forgot it was Thursday. Well, I'd like to see you today. Yeah, she looks, she looks like she's having a rough go of it. She's probably having a tough time now that she's lost Billy, you know? Oh boy, I'm gonna see Grace soon. There she is, hi! <laughs> oh my God, it's so fun. This is such a fun season already. Uh oh, is this the new stud of the season? Let's introduce the new stud, Luke? Oh, he became an athlete and they look disappointed. I'm proud of him, he looks good. It's good to play sports, teaches camaraderie. Aww. Of course I have to give it. Did they break up or is she just, has she been isolating herself? Poor Luke. None of his friends look happy for him, you know? Chrissy, I love you, babe. Uh-huh. <laughs> That's a bit, uh, it's a bit much to do at the school pep rally speech. I'm tired of girls laughing at us. I'm tired of feeling like a loser. We came to high school wanting things to be different, right? Listen, I get being tired of that kind of stuff, but it's more important to have friends that you actually care about and vibe with than have fake friends and be popular. Just talk to Eddie, get him to move Hellfire. I actually had friends like this who really wanted to be popular and I would go to popular parties with them and it sucked. I hated it because I didn't get along with the kids. Like it, they were nice enough. They were fine. Like no one was rude to me and I like had sleepovers with some of them and hung out with them, but I just was like, nah, they're just not cool. You know, like they care too much about being cool. They weren't goofy. They weren't funny. So I just let it go. And then I had to let that friendship go too. It's more important to have friends you like. I, Carol, can I call you back? Oh, sure. Well, you lost that sale. Is that a, oh, are those Russian stamps? Okay, well, there was probably an easier way to open that, but all right. Huh? A doll? What? Who sent that? For my hero, I... Did she, did she? I chose my dad. Her dad. Oh. And for my visual aid, I made a Dirayama. A Dirayama, a diorama. More like diarrhea. <laughs> <laughs> oh, look at her trying, she's trying to laugh with them, even, even though they're making fun of her. Yeah, sorry. I'm just like confused. Shut up. I am so sorry, Mrs. Gracie. I didn't mean to interrupt. I just wanted clarity on the rules of the assignment. She's doing that fake, fake California nice thing. I've encountered people like this and they're all over, but I've encountered a lot of them in California. They're fake polite and it's the worst. It gets under my skin. Hey, run it up that hill. Here we go. Oh, I was starting to get heated. Thank you, Kate, for coming in with the music. Oh yeah, Max is sad too. These two girls need each other right now. They really need each other right now. It's so sad. I kind of like that Max is in this dark place. It makes sense for her after losing Billy and then Eleven moving away. Why do I feel like something spooky is about to happen? The lighting and color grading just got really cold. I feel like something spooky is about to happen. It's quiet. <laughs> Who's throwing up? Is that Chrissy? Yep. Hi. What's going on with her? Oh no. I said go away. Chrissy, it's not her, it's somebody else. Chrissy? Oh, Chrissy, what's going on with you? Mom? It's her mom, oh God. What's going on with her? Chrissy? Did you hear me? Open the goddamn door, Chrissy. What the heck happened to her? Why is she being haunted? Like Billy. We're the freaks because we like to play a fantasy game. But oh my God, my we have the same kind of hair, Eddie. Look at us. Matching. It's force conforming. That's what's killing the kids. 
What a, what a, what a, what an obnoxious man. I don't mind that you're different or have your own like quirky interests. I mind that you're obnoxious and screaming at people and walking across the lunch table. Maybe we, we might postpone. So dramatic. You guys are so dramatic. He's so extra. Karate from one to three on Friday. Hi, Murray. Oh, he's a black belt. Good for him. Wait, can you undress her? What? The creepy doll. Can you remove her dress? Oh my God, Murray is hilarious. I love him. Is he gonna die? I just am so scared. Like, of all the funny men dying. Oh, Chrissy, what's going on with you, girl? I worry for you. Oh, you want, you want to, you're gonna go take a walk in the woods, huh? Great. Is she coming to meet somebody here? What? What? She's having some crazy visions. Oh, that's horrific. Don't like that. Whoa, 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 hey, hey, hey. Sorry. Was she coming to, what? Was she coming to meet Eddie? Oh, weird. What is she coming to meet Eddie for? Oh, for weed? Do you have anything maybe stronger? Oh, sh poor girl. She's so scared. Very disappointing, Jane. Let's talk after break. You know, I hated teachers that did stuff like this, like made it really obvious to the class how much worse you did than everybody else. Like, it's one thing to try to grab a kid like slyly before they leave the school and be like, hey, can you can you make time to come after school and we can have a chat? Like, but to do it like that, I, I, I hated that shit. Oh, you're a And you're gonna step on it too or kick it? Yeah, lovely. And the fact that everyone's watching, like it's so over the top, hammy, everybody just happened to watch. And it's sad too, cause Eleven like doesn't have her powers anymore. I wonder when she's gonna get him back. Ah! Oh, it's so, oh, babe. What the hell was that? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. What happened to her? I feel so bad. Did someone do this? Yep. I tripped. Oh. It was just an accident. She's protecting them still, wow. Let's go. I didn't do anything. Tell her, Jane. Tell her. <sighs> no, you deserve it, you little <laughs> Did you guys have schools like this where everybody watched stuff like this go down? I feel like I've never, this is so over the top. It's, it's not that bad. Well, it's together, okay? Oh, well, oh. Will seems like just as devastated as her, you know. Well, can we not just use a hammer? This seems like more extra than just using a hammer. The kids are watching. That's so funny to like the crazy neighbor doing some weird If that porcelain belly is pregnant with an Oh. Device, you will soon be thanking me. Oh, okay. That's actually a really good point. Okay. Although it could start a fire in California. Do it, do it. Where'd you go? Where'd you go now? Give her a second, Murray. Oh, a note. Are you kidding me? Hop. Hop is alive? No way. What? How? Is he the American in Russia? Oh my God. 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 I did see David Harbour's name in the title credits, but I just assumed they were going to do flashback scenes with him. I didn't want to get my hopes up. Erica! Oh my God. The American flag. That's hilarious. America. Absolutely not. Oh, what? What? Because she's a girl? Oh, because she's in middle school. <laughs> My name is Lady Applejack, and I'm a chaotic, good, half-elf rogue level 14. And I will sneak behind any monster you throw my way and stab them in the back with my poison so cool creep. So, we gonna do this? Or we gonna keep chit-chatting like this is your mommy's book club? Welcome to Hellfire. Oh my goodness. I love that she showed up wrapped up in an American flag. Like, what a choice. <laughs> oh, I love her. No, 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 no. dead. Killed my cat. So it was thought, my friends. So it was thought. Oh, he brought back a character they all thought was dead. Vecna, probably a metaphor for the monster, the antagonistic force that we thought we destroyed at the end of the last season, maybe. Sinclair, you're in. Yeah! Oh, 
I'm so proud of him. I feel bad that there's no one here for him. Like they're all like saying it's no big deal. The championship game's a big deal. That's funny, the going back and forth, the comparison of both games. Mike, are you gonna be home by nine? <gasps> oh no, Luke, bump it in, somebody bump it in. Bump it in, bump it in, bump it in. Come on, Luke, come on, Luke. Three seconds, two, come on, Luke. Come on, oh, it's Erica's turn to roll. Is it, can the Sinclairs do it? <laughs> this is so slow. This is fun, it's so funny. Luke, come on, go in the basket. Oh God, just stop already. Okay, come on, we get it. Oh no, <gasps> come on! This is too long, this is hilarious. Yay! Holy moly, great job. Great job, aww. Look at how proud she is. Oh, Luke, Woo! Oh. There's literally no one there for him. I'm so sad. Like it's fun to play basketball if you really love basketball, but like not just to be popular. Who is that? Oh, Eddie. Oh, I love how Chrissy's always in the cheerleader uniform, like always in a very distinct costume. I just am so curious why she's being plagued with these spooky visions and things. Oh no. Eddie. Huh? Oh no, it's her mom. You're going to look absolutely beautiful. <laughs> oh, Chrissy. Is she not gonna make it past the first episode? Chrissy? <gasps> Chrissy? Hello? Her, her eyes, oh my God, they're rolled in the back of her head. Wake up, Chrissy. Wake up, Chrissy, wake up. I don't like this. Yeah, I've heard that on TikTok. I don't, why do you gotta moan like that, sir? Why do you gotta moan like that? It's like a human and a demogorgon had a baby. Oh, why? Why, why, why do you need Chrissy? Don't cry, Chrissy. Oh, Chrissy. It's time. For what? For your suffering to end. Oh no. She's floating? Yeah, I've seen, I've seen uh, Halloween costumes where people somehow make it look like there's a floating Chrissy in their yard. Oh boy, oh boy. Ah! Ah! Oh my God. Okay, bye. Bye, Grace. <laughs> I thought she would make it past the first episode. I knew she was gonna die, but I didn't know it'd be that quick, holy Poor girl. Why? Why her? Oh yeah. Right, we learned that Hop is supposedly alive. Like what the heck? Were all my tears for nothing? Oh, is this from Hop's perspective? No way. Is he gonna go through the upside down? No way. No way. No way. So that's why he's gonna end up in Russia, huh? Or did he fall down there? What? Wait, he's right there? Wait, what? He was right there? What? This is, I feel like, I feel like I, you know, I'm happy that he's not dead, but I'm also pissed because I feel like all of my tears were in complete and total vain. Like I was an emotional wreck at the end of season three. And now I just feel like they tricked me, they baited me, and they just toyed with my heartstrings. And now what happens, like we have lost Bob, so I know we can lose important characters that are like lovable, but what happens now? Because I swear to God, if they bring him back to life and they kill him for real, I'm gonna be not happy. But something is gonna happen because people have been saying in the comments like, oh, if you think season three was a mess, just wait till you, season four is gonna emotionally destroy you. And I'm like, why? So now I'm nervous. Oh, oh right, because Chrissy was across the street. Is Eddie gonna get in trouble for what happened to Chrissy? Uh-oh. Hide the drugs, Eddie! Holy mother of God. Oh, uh, 
I feel, why do I feel like Eddie just ran away? Hey, I can't be out here. Get back inside. Oh yeah. Ooh, this this season is dark already. That's pretty dark. So Eddie just ran away. Damn, that makes it, him look worse. But I, I don't think there's anything he could have done that would have looked great. <laughs> oh, are they? Oh, they're waiting for Mike. Mike, is that him? Is that what he looks like? Uh. Oh my God. I heard a lot about your sister. Argyle. <laughs> Eduardo is one of the funniest improvisers I've ever met. So I wouldn't be surprised if half of his lines throughout this season are improvised. Are your friends gonna meet us there? Friends? What, what friends? You know, Stacy and Angela. She's trying to, she's trying to make it seem like she isn't a total loser and has friends. Aw, baby girl. Murray, what are you doing here? We don't have a lot of details right now, but we can confirm that the body yep. of a Hawkins High student was discovered. Another one. Another one. It never ends. <laughs> After this, like, wouldn't everybody just leave Hawkins? Like all of the parents be like, we're moving, F this. Benny's burger. Oh, God, ew. First hangover feels like you're gonna split. And oh, his first hangover, okay. Oh, at Benny's. Oh my God, what a throwback. Oh, this guy, has he not learned about his girlfriend yet? Oh, dude, guys. What's this? Thought we were watching Thundercats. Hawkins student got murdered. What? Yeah, guys, you know which one got murdered? Hey, maybe Chrissy didn't stand you up after all. <laughs> hey, don't say that. That's really messed up and it's a bad joke and she is the one that died! It's f***ed up! You're gonna regret that joke later, man! Ever since that girl Barb died a few years ago, it has been one thing after another. True. Would you be up for a field trip? She's going into investigator mode. I feel like she goes into journalist investigator mode as a method to cope for the grief of losing her best friend, you know? Otherwise she would just be a mess and wallow in self-pity all the time. And so a way to combat that is like her trying to actively dig and find things out. My heart can't take it anymore. I just can't take it. Yeah, yeah, sweet mom. She's a sweet mom. <laughs> she can't handle it. Oh. Chrissy Cunningham? Oh yeah. She gotta talk to somebody. Eddie didn't do this. No way. No, he didn't. You're right. Dustin! You don't know him like I do, Max. Okay? Oh, Dustin, that's what everyone says when they find out that their friend is a murderer. <laughs> but he is right. Eddie didn't do this. We can't presume anything, okay? But it doesn't look good for Eddie. True. I would be doubting Eddie in this scenario. It doesn't look good that he ran away either. Dusty, where are you going? See your friend. You heard the news, it's not safe. Good point, we'll be extra careful. Thanks, mom, I love you, bye. If that, uh, she's a nice mom. My mom would have been like, oh, hell no, you're not leaving. Pop is alive. Oh, right, he's coming to see Joyce. Right, 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 that makes sense. You saw him die, Joyce. She didn't, technically. She just kind of looked down and then looked back up and he wasn't there anymore. What are you doing? We're gonna call that number. Did he bring recording equipment? But oh, we're doing it. My way. You should probably, oh, I like that editing transition. That was suspenseful and fun. Um, you probably should call at another house just in case they could track calls at this time. Oh my God, we're really like seeing what happened to Hop. This is crazy. I just can't imagine. Why did the Russians have him? Cause didn't the American military show up right after this? Like why would they have him? Why would they even be here? Why would they be here? Was it in like the minute before the American government got there? Uh-oh, what's the elephant? Oh, they're torturing him. We're seeing it. I don't like seeing it. Oh no, are they giving him gas? Oh no, that's terrifying. Oh, is that oxygen? Oh, that's why it's called the elephant. I get it, the trunk. This is, that's actually like the worst way you could torture somebody. Oh my God, oh my God, oh my God, oh my God. I don't know if we can show that on YouTube camera and that's kind of graphic in like in a really imaginatory way. That's not even a word, I don't think. Imaginative, that's what I meant to say. Oh my God. It's really funny seeing like the difference between like Hawkins and like California because a lot of the trends get set in California. So it's slightly different over here than it is in Hawkins. And it's, we're just like a little bit further and deeper into the eighties with the bright colors and music and the crazy hairstyles. Like, it's just so fun. Why do you keep lying? What? Yeah, I thought friends don't lie. You're friends with Angela and Stacy and you come to parties here? 
I have been to a party. For mom's work. That's not what you imply. Aww. Oh, she looks like she's gonna cry. I feel so bad for Elle, man. I think it's, it when you go through a phase like that in life where you don't have any friends and you're lonely all the time, it, it, it does help you grow as a person though. Aw. Uh, does Will have a crush on Mike? Or does he just wish he had somebody? <laughs> it looks like he's also bummed about Mike and Elle, but it's like, maybe that's why it's awkward, but oh no, she's here, wonderful. Wonderful, she's here, so great. But it seems like the snitch has a boyfriend. She's not even a snitch. She literally said nothing happened and that she tripped and you didn't push her. She's literally really way too nice to you. Yeah, um, I, I was just going to um, see Max Mayfield. We're basically her nanny. Uh, nannies. But I know you. I don't think so. Yeah. Uh-oh. Actually, I do know you. Uh-oh. You're Fred Benson. Uh-oh. You killed that kid last year. What? It, it was an accident. An accident. What's happening? Oh, is he getting haunted now? You're a murderer is what you are. Everyone here knows it. Oh, he's next. He's next. You're next, boy. It's funny because I was thinking he's kind of annoying, but now I feel bad for him. <laughs> I wonder what's going on that this antagonistic presence is now just like picking random kids and haunting them, like getting in their heads and affecting them mentally. Mine's better. No, it isn't. Milkshakes? Uh-oh, she's here. Lovely. See, now it's bad that you lied to Mike because Mike probably thinks you guys are friends. Come on, friend. Let's skate, shall we? I, I wanted to finish this with Oh, Mike. hold on to that. <laughs> Come on. Oh, God. Oh, Will is so protective of Elle. It's so sweet. You can see he's pissed. It's really a shame she lost her powers because she could totally destroy Angela in two seconds. This next song is dedicated to Jane, the local snitch. Oh my God. Wow, this is unbelievably traumatizing and horrible. So whoever runs the skating rink, the DJ is just a man child as well, because I can't believe you'd even do something like this as an adult. Hey, hey, turn it off. Sorry, I can't hear you, dude. Hey, you little You're a full grown man. What the hell? This is actually infuriating me. Oh my God, I can't believe a full grown man would do this. Wipeout! How on earth are this many people clapping and laughing and cheering for this? I have never seen such a public display of harassment and bullying be so appreciated by such a large group of people. I can't even imagine. Oh, poor girl, the poor girl. It's so sad, it like breaks my heart. Elle needs to learn to just like, stop being so nice to like people like that and just stick up for herself because they're gonna be mean to you either way. And unfortunately, like she's just a pure sweet girl, you know? She's never had to deal with this kind of like treatment in this way. This is Joyce. I received your message and I would like to make a reservation. Yes, $40,000. You have it in Hopper's trust. Bring to Yuri's Fish and Fly in Nome, Alaska. Alaska's a good meeting place, I suppose. Oh, hop. I don't know how they got him. So I guess he is the American being held in that cell. Kamchatka, yeah, the cell. To hell, wonderful. What a wonderful guy. I, I don't know how these Russians got away. I mean, maybe these guys were here the whole time, but I, I just don't understand how it all worked out and half the Russians were just able to get out of Hawkins without being caught. It's bullshit, man. Eddie Munson, he's a part of that freak devil cult hellfire. Uh-oh, oh no, oh! This is gonna be like pinning Luke against his friends now. Oh no, I, uh. It can, it can warp their mind. They confuse fantasy and reality and innocent people die. That's not true. I mean, it's been happening all over the country. It's like, it's like an epidemic. Oh my God. I honestly do think the decision to put this into the storyline, the whole like talk of D&D &D being like this cult that's warping the youths is such a, a funny and clever idea because that is what happened. That's what all the articles were about and they do with video games now or at least 10 years ago it was really bad. People would say, oh, video games are turning all the kids violent. She wants to do something about it, wouldn't she? Yeah! Then let's go on some further. Oh no, he's, do oh no. Oh no, he's doing his little motivational speech. 
These boys are really easily swayed. What, like Christy, Christy wouldn't want you to murder someone. And also, you guys could get put in jail if you go out and search for justice yourselves. Like, don't follow this idiot. You're Wayne Munson, aren't you? Look at her, she's good at knowing who people are. And I'm not interested in gossiping no more. Certainly not to a reporter. He's got such a, like, a, a gentle drawl, southern accent. Let me guess. You've been speaking to the Hawkins Post. Oh. Chuck Bailey. I used to work with him. Oh yeah, the Hawkins Post, yeah. That guy doesn't know his ass from his elbow. She's doing really great about like pulling his walls down. Oh, and something's gonna happen to him and the, do and the dog and the clock. Oh, you're next, dude. You're so next. I kind of feel bad for Nancy, even though like she's not super tight with this guy. It's like just yet another person that's kind of close to her that's gonna be probably killed. You think you know who might've done this? You ever hear the name Victor Creel? Victor Creel? He thinks it's a specific person who did this. He lost his mind, killed his whole family, took their eyes. Took their eye. Well, geez, does look a little similar then. I don't blame you. Oh God, is he about to die right now? Oh God, it's a casket with a clock on it. That's terrifying. Oh, it's, it's for you, Fred. Oh, and the wind, too. Oh, yeah, he's gone. He's gone. Fred! Oh, God, is he gone? Her echo is so palpable. No, you're walking the wrong way. Nancy! Oh, Fred, you're screwed. Because at least Chrissy had Eddie to snap her out of it. Oh, Fred. Oh, poor Fred. Why him? Why? <gasps> There's people behind him. Oh, it's the funeral. Oh, it's the funeral of the person he accidentally killed. Oh God, what a way to torment him. Oh, I feel like there's a lot more like interesting special effects edits in this season. It's a lot more horrific too. Oh no, now we're cutting a hop. We really got to shave his head. Oh God. That's gotta be freezing. Yeah, you don't really wanna be put away in a KGB prison. That's kinda terrifying. He's lucky to be alive. He doesn't speak Russian. He's got no clue what you're saying. Run, you die. Oh, there we go. Now he's saying it in English. Oh, that's nice of him to translate. Sorry you can't cry to teacher today. You'll just have to cry to your daddy instead. Wow, that's so f awful. You're a Oh, she's, I hate her. I hate her. Punch her, L. I know you're not supposed to, but oh my God, I want, I want this to learn that she just can't get away with Oh, are her powers coming back? Please. Can something come back, please? Is she gonna throw that? Uh-oh, uh-oh. Angela! Oh, I said punch her, not kill her. I said punch her, not, 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 not hit her with a skate. Not a skate. Oh, that's a bit much, L. Oh, I take it back. That wasn't a good decision. Oh, now she's gonna get in trouble. What did you do? What did you do? What have you done? Oh, yeah, now we're having this flashback. She's got a, she's got a hard time controlling her rage. It's like that part of her that had been buried and now it just came back. She just needs help, you know? Oh God, she's looking for Fred. He's gone, honey. He's gone. He's the next one. He's the next victim. Nancy, you brought him here. Oh no. Did you maybe see him leave with somebody? Or... I told you kids to go home. Jesus Christ. You did, but you know, you did, officer. You did. You did. You did say that. Oh, Fred. Oh, you're screwed. Oh, is it the fiery car wreck from his nightmare? Yep. So this must have happened, like he did this, but we just didn't see it. Like maybe he moved towns after this accident. I don't know. And she just like hung there in the air and her bones are just, mm, mm, mm. Oh, poor Eddie. I honestly, I say like, oh, it looks bad because he ran away, he shouldn't have done that. Honestly, I probably would have ran away too. I don't want to stay there. I would just run. It'd be t terrifying. We don't think you're crazy no, at don't all. Don't bullsh me, man. I know how this sounds. We're not bullsh you. We believe you. Yeah, Eddie, you don't get it. They've seen crazier. What I'm about to tell you might be a little difficult to take. This is like how the trailer, I think, for the season started with a, his line. Oh, Fred, bye. Oh no, Fred. 
Oh my God, this is such a horrific season. All these kids, back to back. So much, so much death. I want you. Why? To join me. Uh-oh. Oh, Fred. Oh, Fred. Fred. It's gonna happen to you too, son. Oh, he's gonna be, he's, it's so poetic that he killed somebody accidentally and it torments him from a hit and run and now he's left dead in the road, you know? Oh, he's getting more and more powerful. It's like Voldemort. Oh, the monster in the last season had little arm, tentacle arms like that, but now it's like he's more of a human. Oh, this is bad. Where are we? Are we back at the steelworks? No. Leave bats out of this. Bats are fine. Listen, why do the world, upside down world gotta be covered in bats? Bats are actually kind of cute. Oh, we're in Ruth, Nevada. Okay. Is that a train station or an earthquake? What's happening? Oh, what? A helicopter? Oh! Sam. Oh, it's him. I'm sorry, did the helicopter make made the earth, the house rumble that much that it knocked all of her pots and pans down? That seems crazy. Oh, this guy. Hi, yes. Does this remind you of anything, doctor? No, doesn't. I really like your house, Doctor. I must say, that's a lovely fireplace. Because as men of science, men like you who created this problem in the first place. <sighs> I mean, yeah, true. And Hawkins can be traced back to Brenner's little pet. Oh, she's got a name. Uh, although I disagree, or I agree with Brenner being problematic. <laughs> oh yeah, the eye thing. No, but it's not her though. It's not her. Uh, you can make this easy and tell us where she is. Or we can do this the hard way. Oh no. You'd think the government would piece together that Hopper had a daughter, that his daughter died, and then all of a sudden he has a new daughter named Jane. Like it's not that hard to figure out where she is. If you just pay attention to like what happened with Hopper and the daughter that he had, and you go look at her. But maybe Sam just did a really good job of hiding her under different paperwork, I don't know. Oh no, right, the skating rink, oh God. Oh God, Elle, you're gonna get in trouble, and now you're gonna have a criminal record. Oh, this is bad. Oh, Elle, and like I bet Angela's parents are like she is, and they're gonna press charges. Mom? She listening to music, like orchestral music? Well, well. Oh, Murray! Aren't you out of sight for sore eyes, huh? Hi, Murray. The kids like risotto? Jonathan is so stoned. I've never seen him smile so much. Damn, it hits me. Didn't the buyers move here? Small world, isn't it? Small world. What a small world that we're lying that why he's here. Except, you know, you have that, uh... Right, that business trip. Guys, they know you're lying. Like, just tell the truth. I mean, not the truth about Hopper, but... I have to go to a conference tomorrow in Alaska. Oh yeah, mm -hmm. uh-huh. That's where they're based, the Britannicas. The Britannicas are based in Alaska! <laughs> Joan and Brian Britannica! <laughs> okay, I, uh, I sense tension. Is it the risotto? Everyone hates the risotto. Absolutely not. Murray, it is not about your risotto. It's risotto. It's schmackin'. Schmackin'. It's schmackin'. Still have no idea who he is. Well, he's complimenting your risotto, and that's all that matters. <laughs> I'm loving the new characters, man. This is great. Hey, man. Relax. And we're not killers like Eddie. And we just want to talk to him. Want to talk to him. AKA threaten him and probably hurt him. If you're not up to this, you can go home. There's no judgment. You'll still be one of us, all right? No. That was his out right there. He should have taken it. Although, I don't think he meant what he said when he was like, you will still be one of us. Like they totally would have treated him differently and cooked him off the team or whatever. But I just don't think you want to get mixed up in this. It's, it's going to create so much tension and what they're doing really isn't okay. Although I think this will be an important grow, growing moment and learning lesson for Luke. So um, are we just not going to talk about it? About what? I don't know. Just maybe when you mauled a girl at the skating rink. You think I'm a monster too. What? Yesterday. Oh. The way you looked at me. That moment, yeah. It doesn't change anything. It doesn't matter. I, I care for you so much. Oh. Care. 
that you don't, you don't love me anymore. Oh God, what? Who said that I didn't? You never say it. Oh. You can't even write it, Mike. Oh, he doesn't write it. Oh, I feel so bad for her. Oh God, this poor baby. From Mike. Never love From Mike. Mike. From Mike. From Mike. From. Okay, okay, from. okay, okay. I love him. You're being ridiculous. What? Like they're nobodies, and you're a superhero. Yeah. Not anymore. But you're just going through your dark night of the soul moment, honey. It's okay. Ten bucks says mom forgot something. Uh, I think it's relating to what happened with Elle. Yep, they're pressing charges. Oh my God, we're cuffing her. Wow, we're cuffing her? Damn. And Joyce isn't even here. I feel like the parents are always absent when they're needed most. They were both at the game. And near the trailer park. We're at the trailer park. Uh, should we maybe not be here? <laughs> oh, Max. I worry about Max. Max lives here. Here you go. I'll stick with Nance, all right? You guys take the car, check out this shrink. I don't think you want me driving your car. Why? I don't have a license. Why well, don't you have a license? I'm poor. I can drive. No, no. You don't have a license either, Max! This is stupid. Yeah. Us ladies? Yes. We'll stick together. Girl time. I agree. Unless you think we need you to protect us. I think Steve just wanted to go with Nancy because he still cares for her a little bit. But that's, yeah, that's the right decision. Ah! <laughs> oh. Oh. Always the babysitter. Yep, yep. Always the goddamn babysitter. Yeah, 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 yeah. But that was the right decision, Steve. Robin should go with Nancy. Oh, God. What's going on here? Is this the Munson's place? Yeah, with all the hats. Oh, boy. Yeah, I worry for Max living here. Like, next door. I'm a little scared. Also, where is he? It seems like he's in this weird haunted house that I've never seen before in Hawkins. He's in bed. He's picking a new victim, isn't he? Man, a lot of these people's lives suck. Oh, somebody on the basketball team. Oh, <gasps> no. Wait, so is something going to happen to him? And then they're, are they, I wonder if they're going to think it's still Eddie or if they're going to see it happen and they're going to be like, what the f***? And it's going to change their perspective of what's happening. Uh-oh, Hellfire Club members. Uh-oh. Wow, they're actually good at music. That's cool. Show's not till next week. Oh, that was music you were playing. Come on, don't, they're talented. Leave them alone. Hey, man. Hey, you're breaking their drum set. That's fucked up. This is not okay, but I'm not surprised. Oh my God, dude. Play those drums with a broken. Yeah, it will be. F you. Stop. Destin Henderson. What? Destin Henderson. Yeah, Luke. Now, Dustin's at risk of getting hurt. You're going to have to decide what you're going to do. Where do we find this? Dustin. Yeah, Luke. You're in the thick of it now, dude. Is it really th worth being popular this much? Like, no, it's not. Figure it out. And why did you hit her? She needs a lawyer. She needs a lawyer. When did the law go into effect where you need an, an adult or a parent present to make decisions for a minor? Because I don't think that this is okay. She doesn't seem that upset about it, does she? No, she doesn't. You guys don't seem like you're following the law, do you? You guys are assholes. Oh my God, we're booking her. <sighs> She's being treated like a monster. I feel so bad. Hey, hey, look. Is there any chance we can just see her? Are you a parent or guardian? Well, they were able to question her without a parent or legal guardian, ma'am. I'm f heated. She's legally allowed a phone call. How about that? You're not gonna tell her that, huh? Man, this has really put a, it's a bit of a downer for spring break. Hurt him? Oh. The soup too. And the soup. Yeah, I guess it doesn't matter if he breaks your leg. You're not gonna be hungry. <laughs> Crazy American, that's right. Wait, how's he gonna get around if his leg is broken? He's gonna, oh my God. He's gonna try to hide the fact that, oh my God. Did it work the first time? Please tell me it worked. Please tell me it worked. Oh, it didn't. It didn't. I need the blanket right now. Ah! And he's stifling his screams. Ah! Ah! How's he gonna? Ah! How's he gonna move? Ah! How's he? Ah! How's he gonna move? Oh! Did I come off mean or condescending or something? No. Right. Sorry. It's just you seem annoyed. So if I say something that upsets you, just know that I know that it's a flaw. Believe me, my mother reminds me daily. <laughs> 
Me too, girl. Me too. I relate to Robin. Honestly, I feel like Nancy is annoyed because maybe she's a little bit jealous, like thinking that Robin and Steve like each other or something. But it's like, honey, first of all, you mistreated Steve, so you don't deserve to be jealous. Second of all, it's not like that. Do you have a minute to talk? Um, yeah, of course. Wow, she's like, wait, you came to me? Crazy, at my house? I mean, I know you were seeing Chrissy. Max, you know I can't talk about Chrissy or any other student. Yeah, doctor patient confidentiality. Can I use the bathroom? Sure. Is she gonna snoop around? No f way. Is she gonna steal her keys? Oh, no way. No way, we're taking her office keys? Oh my God. And she's just leaving. She's not even easing out of the conversation. She's just leaving. I feel kind of bad for that therapist. She's trying. She seems nice. Oh, is this Dustin's house? Only so many places these freaks can burrow. Stop calling him freaks. Oh, he's, oh, Dustin's house. Oh, the radio. Lucas, you're so behind, it's ridiculous, okay? Just meet us at the school, we'll explain later. I can't. I think some real bad is about to go down. Mm-hmm. Uh-oh, they're listening. Sinclair! Oh, he turned it, I had to turn it off. I was, I was looking for clues. Clues? What, freshman think he's Sherlock Holmes or something? <laughs> that wasn't even funny. Are you really giving a triple high five? You did, you did, he, they did, just did this. Bump, bump, bump. That wasn't that good. It wasn't worth three high fives. I know where Eddie's hiding. Oh, God damn it, Luke. Just cause you want to be cool? Really? That's so lame. That's pathetic. I'm sorry, where the fuck is this juvie? How far out? Where is it? Uh oh. Oh, is the military after her? Oh no, did they figure out where she was because of, cause now she's gotten picked. Oh, this is bad. I mean, they probably would have found her anyway, I guess then at Joyce's house. Oh, and she doesn't, when is she gonna get her powers back? Is she ever gonna get them back? Oh no, we got another woman in a suit looking like a Oh no. We had one in season one and now we have her again. Oh no, now Mike's never gonna find her. Oh no! Sam, Sam, you did it, Sam. Hey kiddo. Wait, I wonder, maybe, maybe Sam's being a good guy. Like maybe he didn't tell them where Jane was and he just recruited people that are loyal to him to go get her. Maybe, maybe that's what's going on. That's what I'm hoping anyway. Cause I like Sam and I want to keep liking him. A weekly watcher, I can't believe they have this. Don't they write about like Bigfoot and UFOs? Well, oh, UFOs are absolutely real. Bigfoot, I'm still on the fence about. True, she's right. <laughs> Remember when the Pentagon admitted that UFOs are real and we didn't care as a society? We were like so disillusioned with our government that we were like, whatever, yeah, <laughs> we don't care. <laughs> Victor Creel claims vengeful demon killed family. That, that actually is probably true. Oh my God, Victor didn't do it. <gasps> it's that house. Oh, poor Victor. So Vecna's, this demon has been around in the upside down for a long time. You found it? Yeah, and not just Chrissy's file. Fred was seeing Miss Kelly too. Max, so are you. Oh God, Max, I really worry for Max. Waffles, please. Always waffles. Never too late in the day for breakfast, that's what I say. Sam's really sweet, I really like Sam. I really like Sam. We'll make that go away, don't even. Oh, don't make that go away! You're, you're able to do that, Sam? Last night, I saw something. Something I've been dreading for some time. Hawkins is in danger. Always, it's always in danger. A war is coming to Hawkins. Oh, cut to these guys. Oh no. Eggo Waffles. He likes Eggos too. You're a good piece. Oh, he lied. Oh, he lied. Luke, run. Oh, he lied. Oh, we sent them to Hopper's old place. I don't have my powers. What if I told you there was a way, a way to bring them back? What? A program that has the potential to not just bring them back, but bring them back stronger than before. Uh, that's scary. I'm afraid your friends at Hawkins are very much. Can I see Fred's file? Max is next. Max is next, bro. I'm concerned. Headaches. Yeah, Max has headaches. It's gotta be traumatizing for her seeing the parallels in the file between her and other victims. Come with me now. Oh. Find out for yourself. Maybe take her home first so Jonathan and Mike stop worrying and then and then we go. Oh, did they leave already? They already left? You couldn't tell the waitress? It's kind of rude. Wait, we're not driving, are we? 
Please tell me we're driving to an airport. We're not gonna drive from California to Hawkins, Indiana, right? That would literally take like five days. The clock. Oh no, Max, no. Oh, she can't die. Please tell me she's not gonna die. Oh no. It's like this creature, this demon, like Vecna, just picks victims it perceives as weak, you know? It's attacking all these kids that are seeking out therapy and counseling. Is that where we're leaving off? <laughs> no, Max! I kind of had a feeling. I kind of had a feeling something was gonna happen with her just cause she seems really troubled and uh, she lives in the trailer park. There's just a lot of reasons. So it kind of makes sense, but oh my God. The season is already like really good. <laughs> 